You know, um, I was, uh, couple of things I got to talk about. First of all, I'm going to talk about uh, something I heard in the sermon and something I didn't hear in the sermon. And I'm going to talk about uh, a near incident that happened with me yesterday. Well, I can tell you about that first. Let me tell you about that first and I'll go in into the uh, podcast. Yesterday, I was I went and dropped my old lady off and I went to go, go up the street to get some pizza. When I got back on the road, after I picked up the pizza, uh, of course, I made the left turn to go on, on to towards my street. And this fool in this uh, Chevy, I'm going to name nameless the vehicle. Uh, I guess they thought I was going slow, which I wasn't going slow. I was actually doing 40, 45 in the 30 zone. And I shouldn't have been. But, you know, and this dude just zoomed off on the other lane, which the lane was the opposite, you know, lane that he jumped into because he didn't feel like uh, dealing with somebody who's who's driving just slightly a little faster than the norm, but not fast enough to just, you know, get to where he wanted to go in a quick, fast, and a hurry minute. And it reminded me of how things are rapidly going out of sync out here, man. You know, with the three major race, racist incidents that happened, although... The media is only really talking about one of them right now. I'll get that in a second. Oh my God, I just did I drive. And then on top of that, um, I wanted to talk to you about that story. I, I was reading something from the local media that proves to me that the main, that the white stream media is all about their perception and not facts. And uh, this is DJ Wolf Live. All right, guys, you know, uh, as you know, there were three major incidents involving, uh, as far as I'm concerned, uh, terrorism. They won't call it that. And as usual, when it comes to uh, incidents that happen to certain people, of uh, certain cultures and certain races, they never acknowledge it being as such. Now, um... This is what I wanted to talk about regarding that. Uh, it started last week. Uh, of course, you know, already know about the uh, the mail bomb suspect who got caught in Florida, who was sending uh, uh, random uh, mail bombs to uh, well-known Democratic uh, Party people across the country. Thank God he got caught. I'm glad he got caught. Then you had another racist in uh, Kentucky who shot two black people at a supermarket. Just shot him. Shot him dead. That hurt my heart, man. He shot the, these two cold-blooded murder. You know what the media was saying when I, from what I read? And I'm going to get the whole story. I'm up, I'm going to post it on YouTube. I'm gonna, matter of fact, not only am I going to post part of that story on YouTube, I'm going to read what it says. And I'm going to try to get a, do a podcast and upload it directly to my uh, For All To Hear uh, media.net channel. Because I want people to hear this. I'm going to show you how biased the media really fucking is. That's why this channel is For All To Hear. Because I'm tired. And that might be the reason why people might be biased towards my channel because it says for all to hear because I want people to hear the truth and I'm going to get to that in a second but they were saying oh this may be an issue this, this could be this, uh, possible they said uh, 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 what they said FBI was investigating a possible hate crime there's nothing possible about this being a hate crime when you shoot a black man and a black woman multiple times in the back of their head okay that's number one. And the white guy saw another white guy with a gun looking like what, uh, who 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 they said was a peer of who was getting ready to pursue him. If, and the guy told the, the the shooter told him, "Oh, uh, you sh I don't think you need to shoot me because I'm white, just like you are." Hmm. What's possible about that, motherfuckers? That was an absolute hate crime if I ever heard or saw one. That's what it was. Clear cut. Yeah, you know, 
And then on top of that, as soon as they said that, they said, oh, but he had a history of mental, he, he had a, he has a mental issue. You know, I'm sick of this shit. That, that's their, that's their, that's their, uh, that's their, uh, uh, get out of jail free card. Oh, he had a history of mental issues. Why is it that every racist motherfucker who has ever, uh, did anything to people of color, the first thing the media, the fucking white screen media says, oh, but he has a history of mental issues. Matter of fact, I heard a guy in the mo this morning, I, I think it was on Today Show where the local station out here was talking about it. They interviewed, I think it was, from, they did a feed from the, uh, wherever the play, wherever the incident happened, um, about the issue, about the, uh, uh the murder, I'm sorry, not issue, the murder of the, uh, 12, uh, of parishioners at the synagogue in, uh, Pittsburgh. And the guy, he tried to break down, okay, uh, the guy's profile. Oh, he was very quiet to himself. You know what? Just say it. The guy was a fucking racist. Let's be real. Let's be real. I'm sick of this shit. I am so fucking... I'm, I'm so fucking emotionally sick of the biased bullshit that the white stream media keeps repeating to try to make you think, oh, he wasn't such a bad guy. Yeah, he was. Okay? The guy in, in uh, Kentucky... All right, his intention was to kill black people, and the proof was in the pudding because they had video. Of course, the main, the white stream media said he may have may have been trying to uh, enter a, a black church. No, he wasn't. May have been trying. He was trying to enter it. He was trying to get in there. That was his intention, but he failed to do so. Fortunately, he couldn't get in. You know, I'm, I'm, you know, uh, you know, they look for everything. To try to say, well, this that really was what he was really trying to do. Yes, it was exactly really what the fuck he was trying to do. Okay, and you tell me that it may they may be finding a hate crime on this guy. No, there's a hate crime. That's exactly what it was. Stop being around the fucking bush with this shit already. You know, sick of this shit, man. I always try to give some motherfuckers a pass when they're guilty as fuck. And this been this has been ongoing for many many years with these racist fucks, you know. They always every time they, every time they, you find out that them motherfuckers did something cold blood to black people, the first thing they say, well, let's look at his profile. You know his profile. He's a fucking racist. Okay, and that's obvious. That's the number one reason they've been doing it. They always trying to find a way to give these fuckers a pass every chance they get. Every damn chance they fucking get. And I'm sick of this bullshit. I am absolutely sick of this mess. You know? That's the part of the problem right now. White people saying this thing they, they can just do any motherfucking thing they want to do to people. This is bullshit. You know? But we're not supposed to talk about it. If you're talking about it, then you're wrong. No, I'm not. I'm so glad that I've named this channel. I, I'm going to tell you the real reason why I named my channel for all to hear. Okay? I'm talking about the YouTube channel. I'm seriously thinking about renaming uh, this channel for all to hear. Now, the reason why I named, um, for you, th those of you who, who follow me on YouTube, as well as Breaker, I named my YouTube channel for all to hear about four or five years ago because of what happened to Trayvon Martin in, in that case. There was, there was not circumstantial, there, were actual, there was actual evidence that proved that George Zimmerman murdered Trayvon Martin. His intention was to go out and stop this young man at all costs. He was told on audio, it was captured on audio by 9-11. I um, mean, yeah, a 9 11 uh, operator to stand down. Don't pursue him. We will look into the matter. And he said, What was that quote again? They always seem to get away. That already was premeditated. Okay? There's no doubt about it. And I'm not being no old, no, uh, 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 uh what do they call that, uh, 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 lounge chair detective. No, this is facts. This is absolute facts. I'm sick of this shit. You know? 
audio with which really of course the uh uh the uh the court uh deemed inadmissible why would you uh inadmiss evidence hard ass evidence that that would that would have convicted George Zimmerman yeah no doubt about that and that's what y'all fuckers did what is this motherfucker doing you in that big of a hurry bitch damn this goofy motherfucker in that big of a hurry you ain't getting nowhere fast these people be killing me man anyway um I'm, I'm just I'm just a little bit of a rage just a lot bothering me lately man and uh but this did bother me you know and all three incidents bother me in general anyway but the today show today they did pretty much a whole show about the 12 uh people who were murdered at the synagogue in pittsburgh they did a whole show on it all right i don't recall them doing a whole show about the uh two black people who were murdered in kentucky no and here's the other thing i think the uh the guy who was uh, murdered, the, the black guy was murdered, his daughter, I think, worked for the EO, uh, somewhere out there. Something I read about that in Kentucky. And uh, so, but they, but they, yet they said that they, there were no clear motives of, of why that white guy did it. No, there, that, that's a possible clear motive outside of racism. You know. But I'm just saying, for me, uh, to be honest, like I said, the real reason again, I named my channel for all to hear is because I got tired of bullshit like the George Zimmerman trial that allowed George Zimmerman to walk. And they deliberately allowed him to walk. Without ever admitting the audio that would have convicted his fucking punk ass. And that's why I said no. When I talk to you about stuff that I see that, that, that bothers me. That's on my mind that I need to get off my chest. It's gonna be for all to hear. I mean that. This is bullshit, man. This is complete bullshit. You know. Somebody was talking about politics. I was listening to on, on another podcast, uh, it was a video podcast, but and they were saying, you know, here we go voting. Black people always vote in numbers, but we vote in numbers for the candidate that we that we don't monetarily support. We don't. But yet we go strong. You know. But then again, it's a double-edged sword because many of the people who want to support certain candidates can't afford to support them in the first place. That's another story. You know. But that was the reason why Obama had certain had supported, and this is this is a fact. This is also the reason why Obama has certain uh, groups uh, that he actually did back up, like women's groups, like Hispanic groups, and like the gay groups, because they all backed him up with monetary support, and he backed them right back up. Yeah, so Obama. You know, I respect him as the president. I respected him for what he was trying to do. But unfortunately, he didn't try enough. He didn't try hard enough for me. But I'll also say that he was also going for the highest bidder when it came to his his support. Him supporting people as president. That's a fact. And what I said to you about, about who... He supported the most was based on the people who support him the most monetarily with campaign funds. That's a fact, too. Let's keep it 100. Those are the ones that he always went out to bat for. He didn't go out to bat for black people like that. Never did. The eight years he was in office. Never did. But you listen to some of these other YouTubers and uh, uh, satellite radio guys and, and women on the air. Oh, yeah. When he did it for you, he did it for them, he did it for everybody. No, the fuck he did. No, the fuck he did. When he did specific things for specific groups, he did those specific things for those specific groups and nobody else. <clears throat> That's a fact, too. Yeah. And 
But like I said, it's also one of the reasons why I'm not going to vote. I feel personally my vote is not going to count no matter who I vote for. At this, like I said, this is just me. Well, you know, but then you got all these like celebrities out here. Oh yeah, you need to vote because it really matters now. This time, yeah, it matters every time. They always say that. They always say that. You know, I told my lady, you know, I'm, I'm not going to waste my time. I'm just not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I can't. You know, we hear that bullshit all the fucking time. Now, I support people's right to vote. Whether I agree with what they say about a candidate or disagree with what they say about a candidate. But for me personally, I've been voting for over 30 years. I feel like for me personally, it's wasting it's a waste of my damn time. It is for me. I can't speak for anybody else. But for me personally, I am not gonna do it anymore. I'm not gonna sit there in line and vote for people, the same people who never do a damn thing for me. I'm tired of it. I'm sick and plain out tired of the bullshit. I am awesome. I am sick of it. I am sick of it. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. I'm just sick of it. Now I think about it. I'm sick of a lot of things anymore, man. You know. Now, I was uh, at church service yesterday. And, of course, the pastor mentioned, and it's, that's natural, about... Uh, uh, he, you know, he said he wanted to give a moment of silence for the loss of the 12, uh, the, the by a dozen or so victims of the uh, mass shooting in Pittsburgh from the synagogue. He never mentioned about, I don't remember him mentioning anything about the two black people who got killed in Kentucky. Just saying. You know. But the one thing he didn't do that he did last time, he talked about forgiveness for Dylan Roof, which I ain't gonna do. And I told people, I said, well, I would never forgive Dylan Roof for that. Because Dylan Roof, Dylan Roof had every intention on murdering those black people no matter what they did. He had every intention. That's a fact. He had every intention. He didn't care. Didn't give a damn about nothing. What is wrong with these people today, man? I always look like a white guy driving. It could be a black guy, but I mean, I'm not big damn if I'm gonna be driving like I'm gonna lose my mind because of you in the fucking hurry. Because I'm driving as fast as I need to be driving down here. People are nuts. But Dylan Roof didn't have. All right. Um, what is with these guys today? This traffic is a mess today, man. I've never seen this busy. I mean, it's mad busy out here too. These people are nuts. But, uh, you know, it, it's just, I don't know what to say anymore, man. I just got to pray up and, but, you know, it, it, it's to a point where, though, forgive, forgiveness is, is kind of running out, you know? There's certain things I can forgive people for. I can forgive people for bumping into them. I can forgive for a person for calling me out my name, all right? I can do that. I can forgive people for being nasty to me when I was in school and hopefully people forgive me for doing the same. All right? I can ask for forgiveness for certain small things. When you murder nine people, all right, like Dylan Roof did, or if you do what that motherfucking Brillo did, or Michael Slager did to uh, uh, that uh, uh, former military guy, Scott, And he shot him eight times in the back. My forgiveness has ran out. It runs out after that. I'm done. I am fucking done. When it comes to that kind of stuff. And I do mean that. And I think some of us got to start realizing that too. There's certain things you just, is to me, is... And I understand, and I, I fully understand why people do forgive, you know, and I know some of the reasons why I had to forgive. One woman on today's show, she was talking about, I think, I don't know if the guy was her husband or her brother or whatever, but 
and that was when he was one of the victims of the, uh, the mass shooting in Pittsburgh. And she said, I had to forgive that guy because if I didn't forgive that guy, I wouldn't, you know, uh, where how I would function at that point. And I can understand that. You know, I can clearly understand that. Been on this gym for so long, I wouldn't even know how to handle it. I just said she was showing up. I don't see her. Why she come out late? I ain't been here in a minute. But, oh, oh that's right. My thing of it is, is that. We've always done that, and we haven't done much else. At least the one thing about that woman. At least her family will get justice for his murder. You know, that's guaranteed. That's guaranteed. I can bet you them people will get justice. You know, the families of Trayvon Martin and Mike Brown, they'll get some money. But come when it comes to us... No. We won't get justice. They'll just give you a settlement and tell you to fuck off, nigga. This is DJ Wolf. I'm out.